Welcome back to A Ride Through History. Season 2, Episode 1, The Beast. King's Island dares you to come face to face with the beast. The Beast. 7,400 feet of unrestrained terror. In a 70 mile per hour attack on your senses, the beast throws you screaming through three tunnels, takes you higher than any other coaster. Come face to face with the beast. The beast. The biggest, baddest, longest, fastest coaster in the world. Who's excited to ride the beast in 2022? I know I am. Can't wait to experience all these cool changes that they have made to the Beast, including uh, rebuilding part of the entrance to the Helix. Uh, they have made the first drop into the tunnel steeper. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to check that out. When you have something like that, really a national treasure, you've got to take care of it, and that's what we're doing in this off-season. Park spokesman Chad Showalter gave WCPO 9 News an exclusive backstage tour of the revamped ride, including the first drop into a tunnel that's been smoothed out and made even steeper. It's increased to a 53-degree drop, and that allows it to go lower into the tunnel. Cincinnati-based coaster manufacturers Gravity Group engineered the improvements, which include 2,000 feet of new track and a new entry to the final double helix turns, which had gotten a bit rough over the years. A bonus from the revamp, the Beast got a few feet longer. We're actually beating that record with the Beast. It's beating its own record. It's going from 7,359 feet long to 7,361 feet long. The Beast is classified as a terrain coaster that refers to the way that it follows the contours of the land using the hills and gullies to add height to the ride. The Beast was designed with an elevation change of 201 feet. However, the structure never rides more than 110 feet above the ground. The Beast features three tunnels. The first is 125 feet, the second is 269 feet, and the third is 628 feet, for a total of 1,022 feet of darkness. Many do not realize that the Beast has an entire backstory based on an abandoned mining company. The tale was presented on signage outside the ride's entrance. The original design was modified multiple times, so many times in fact that the finished product looked nothing like the one envisioned when the project began in 1976. I have fond memories of visiting Kings Island in the late 80s and early 90s as a kid. We always rode the beast the very first thing, and it was always our last ride at night before leaving the park. Beast delivers some fantastic night rides. There is nothing like a cool, moonlit ride during the hot season. To this day, I have 2,138 rides on the Beast. It is my all-time favorite coaster. The park has announced that the Beast will not be opening with the park on April 15th, as it won't be opening until sometime in May. 2022 marks Kings Island's 50th anniversary season. Many of the park's other iconic rides and structures have undergone restoration for the park's big 50th celebration. I hope to see you all there. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Please like, share, and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content. And again, thank you so much for watching. See y'all next time.